hello in this video i'm going to be doing a quick review of the baby delight bassinet and bedside sleeper um i use this bassinet currently to store a bunch of baby items that i'm gonna give to a friend of mine who is having a baby in two months i believe um so as you can see it has a bunch of diapers and baby clothes and pregnancy tea and such that i'm gonna give to her in a few days um, i just didn't want to take everything out again just to do this video anyway i currently have a four months old who slept in this bassinet when he, she when he was a newborn and i have a two-year-old who also used this bassinet first um two years ago when he was a newborn so i'm gonna talk a little bit about some of my likes and dislikes before you spend a bunch of money buying it i just want to make sure you have all of the information you need to know before you go buying it uh, so here goes when i first got this bassinet two years ago i don't know what the price is now um i thought it was very expensive but i've read some reviews and it seemed that a lot of people liked it so i decided to purchase it i also like that if you zip unzip this part all the way down and there <clears throat> excuse me this this comes off let me see if i can do it i just don't want to topple off all of these baby clothes that i packed up but here we go you pull this and this comes off and you can unzip it all the way and push it all the way to your bedside so that you can see your baby easily and feed your baby at night like um easily so you don't have to stress too much but i have to warn you though if you think that this bassinet is one of those where it will line up exactly like this is my bed and it doesn't even have a bed riser it sits right on the floor and let me see if i can move this close once you pull this down it doesn't sit flat with the bed it really 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 doesn't so i'm gonna just show you the the bassinet sheet i guess the bassinet base is right there and my bed is right here i believe it's like that for every bed i think that one of the things that people think about this bed size bassinet is that it's per it sits perfectly flat in the same height level as your your bed like as your mattress that would be great that way you just slide your baby from the bassinet to your mattress but that's not how this one works the look right there is the bassinet sheet the, i keep saying sheet i mean like the mattress and right here is my bed this is a regular bed it has no no uh leg risers it sits right on the floor right there that's one of the foot of the bed of the bed base uh anyway so you're still gonna have to get up roll over and stoop down to pick your baby up to bring to your bed that's one thing that i didn't like about this bassinet but the truth is every bedside bassinet is like that none of them sit perfectly flat at the same height as your bed so that's one thing i just want to say right from the beginning of this video if that's what you're looking for you have to keep looking because this is not it i guess if another suggestion you can try i never did try this is that you can find a way to lift this the uh, mattress up so that it sits flat to the same height as your bed i guess i don't know what you would use but you know just make sure that it's safe um I didn't try this myself. I just used it the way that it was recommended for my first and my second kid. So another part to review about this, besides the fact that it folds down so you can easily access your baby at nights during feedings. Um, I like that the body of the bassinet is made from mesh so it's breathable if your baby rolls to the side you don't have to worry about them suffocating it's usually it's mesh on all sides except for this little this part over here and um this part over here but that's not really much most of it is 
is mesh so it's very breathable it also has a pocket here that you can store something like a bottle or one diaper a little wipe for nighttime changes um let me see if it has a pocket i never used that pocket to be honest i just i have a diaper caddy next to me that's the only pocket it has um another thing i want to say about this video is that about this bassinet is that you can fold it um i can't fold it flat for you right now but it does fold flat if you want to fold it flat to store it which we did for my first kid um you push this i don't really remember exactly how it worked but i know that i folded it um i believe it's this and you push the other side and um this one pushes up and the the feet both feet one fold inward and the other one fold inwards and it sits flat i really wish i could show you right now but it, it does if you go to the website you will see that it folds flat um i've done it before a few times um another thing that you will notice here is that you can adjust the height oh <laughs> there you go you push this button and you roll it up to adjust the height <laughs> it's so heavy at the moment <laughs> So I'm just gonna leave it at a four. <laughs> so much stuff on it. It's ridiculous. But yeah, you can adjust the height and um even the highest height, which is a five, will not bring the bassinet close to your bed on the same height level. Um what else to do? There is this thing right here which we never use. Um uh, I guess you can if you want to. It's suggested that you do it's you attach this part of it to your bed frame to keep the ba the bassinet secure it's recommended that you do that before you unzip this side to make it like flush to your bed that's done so that the bassinet doesn't move out of place and it stays securely attached to your bed at all times but usually um during the first few months of my baby's life i would carry this bassinet to the living room so i didn't want it attached um he slept usually in the living room next to the window because he was born in the winter and i wanted him to have as much exposure to the sun as much as possible to help his circadian rhythm regulate faster so i would carry him to the living room um it was actually easier for me too because my eyes would always be on him at all times while my toddler played um so i didn't attach it for my two-year-old when he was a baby and i didn't attach it for my current baby who's four months old um i like this thing i don't know if anyone talks about this feature but i'm shaking it right now I'm moving it from side to side this is not stable and it's not stable for a reason it's done this way so you can rock your baby from side to side i don't know if you notice as it shakes it goes from side to side like at night if your child is crying um you can just easily wiggle this side to side side to side to kind of like rock them to sleep that's the feature that's why why it moves um i really like that and it worked a lot for us I'm just gonna try to think of anything else that i forgot it's a very basic bassinet um i would say though my firstborn slept perfectly well in this bassinet like he loved it he stayed in it until he was four and a half years old um i'm four and a half months old i'm sorry my current baby did not like it very much he only stayed in it for the first two months of his life he had really 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 bad reflux Every time I laid him down flat, he would cry and scream. He screamed so much, it was terrifying. Like he was being poked with a red hot knife. It was bad. Um, it wasn't the fault of the ma the bassinet, I suppose. It's just that he didn't like that it was, I don't know, maybe it was too soft or too hot. I have no idea. It might not be the bassinet's fault. It's just my son had reflux. So if your baby has reflux, this might not work for you that well. I did try to like do different hacks to get it to work for us 
and what i tried was i put a bassinet mattress topper at first i thought it was like this was too hard for him to sleep on so i wanted to make it a little bit softer but also safe so there's a bat mattress topper that is sold on amazon i will link it in the description of the video you can buy that and put it on top of this it's made specifically for the baby delight bassinet um they also have it for other bassinets as well other options anyway we bought that which put it up put my baby on it for a few nights he seemed to like it because he made it a little softer for him but the reflux was still a problem so after about two months i was like you know what maybe he'll sleep better in his crib so i moved him to a crib and it seemed like he liked it much better there the crib mattress was hard but not as hard as this bassinet mattress that just feels like rocks like wood anyway so he's been in his crib since he was two months old and it seemed to work for him there so i just kept him there anyway um that is all there is to say really about this bassinet um i would not suggest you get the mattress topper now until you've tried putting your baby directly on the bassinet and you know if you notice that it, they don't like laying in it because it's too hard then you can try the mattress topper it's safe because if you buy the the one that's made specifically for the baby delight there's no like gaps in between it talks in into the corners perfectly so just make sure that that does tuck in perfectly to the corners um make sure you buy the right one anyway that's my review of the baby delight bassinet um it works for with two kids i enjoyed it very much if my second baby didn't have reflux he probably would have enjoyed it as much as my first did um so now i'm going to give it to my very good friend who's having a baby uh look at all the bottles and things that i gave i'm giving to her and the diapers um hopefully it works for her as well so it's gonna this bassinet has held up its own between two kids and hopefully a third one on the way uh so i would definitely say it's a yes for me anyway have a wonderful day and i will see you in my next video